Hello friends, Sentinel H here and welcome back to our immersive engineering tutorial series. In the previous episode, I showed you how to use the squeezer, fermenter and refinery to create biodiesel fuel. In this episode, we'll be building the diesel generator and using our biodiesel to produce RF. So, in order to build the diesel generator, you're going to need three blocks. The heavy engineering block, we've already discussed. You'll also need the generator block and the radiator block, which we'll take a look at how to craft right now. The generator block is crafted using a kinetic dynamo, six steel ingots, and two electrum ingots. And this gives you two generator blocks. The radiator blocks are cheaper than the generator blocks because they don't require a kinetic dynamo. They require a water bucket, four steel ingots, and four copper ingots. And this also gives you two radiator blocks. In order to craft the bio in order to craft the diesel generator, it's not the biodiesel generator, it's just the diesel generator. You're going to need six generator blocks, nine radiator blocks, and twenty-seven heavy engineering blocks. So the diesel generator is not cheap because heavy engineering blocks do require quite a bit of steel. You're going to need quite a bit of steel and electrum and copper in order to build the diesel generator. But it is um, a solution for producing high voltage and it produces quite a bit of power. It's actually pretty easy to build. It's a very simple to construct multi-block. So let's build it. We're going to build it right here, very close to the refinery. And I've put down an LV capacitor just so you can see how quickly it fills. I've disconnected our water wheel. In order to build the diesel generator, you first need to lay down a line of three generator blocks, then lay down two lines of three heavy engineering blocks, and then a line of three radiator blocks. Then you need to copy that on the next layer. And on the third layer, you instead you don't add any generator blocks. You just add another stack of engineering blocks and radiator blocks. In order to turn this into a functioning machine, you whack it with the engineer's hammer, either on the center radiator block or over here on the central generator block. And this becomes the diesel generator, which aside from looking really awesome, uh, produces quite a bit of power. Now, there you can turn this around if you want. If you right-click on top of the center rear generator portion, it'll mirror the generator left to right. What this does for you is it reorients the side of the generator that has the cutoff switch, which is this little red dot, which you should be quite familiar with by now in immersive engineering means that if you give it a redstone signal either through a lever or some other means which a lever actually fits perfectly on here it's exactly the same size you can use it to turn the generator on or off with the lever in the on state the generator will turn off around the radiator side of the generator you'll notice that there aren't any activatable port parts or anything this is the strictly decorative side the Fuel in ports are here on the back on the generator side. So whichever side is going to receive the fuel uh, is the side you want to place your generator blocks on. There's one on the left and one on the right side of the generator. Above that you'll find three power ports which of course in immersive engineering they always look like this which I quite like about this mod pack this mod. Um, whenever there's a power outlet they always make them look the same. The diesel generator has three power outlets and that's because it produces 4096 RF per tick and stupid time you can split that in up to three thirds by placing additional things on here. So this is I believe the so far at least this is the only generator where you can split the output right at the source. So if you only have one wire connector on the generator uh, it will output 4096 RF uh, out of that connection if you place two you'll get uh, half of that uh, you know 2000 or so out of each 
And if you put three on it, it'll divide it in thirds. Pretty cool. Now this does produce high voltage, so instead of LV wire connectors, we, an LV wire, we really should be using the higher voltage connectors. An HV wire connector, which we'll, I'll show you how to craft in a future episode, in the next episode. We'll take a look at all that stuff. And the HV wire coils. And an HV uh, capacitor. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll craft all of that stuff. We'll also craft the medium stuff as well. Just so you can see. We'll put that over here. Slap it on. Slap it on. Give it a connection. Now if we pu pipe our fluid from our refinery into our uh, engine, I want to turn it off. The diesel generator does not have a GUI. Okay? Very important. There is no GUI for the diesel generator. But, now that we've got fuel going inside, if I switch off, it should come on. About 6,000 of our biodiesel has gone into the generator. And our HV capacitor is already... Oh, that's no, a full one. Never mind. I accidentally spawned the, uh, the full one, so there was nowhere for power to go anyway. So let us grab the, that's an MV, not the full one. And there we go, it's running. And it sounds and looks pretty darn cool while it's doing it. You get some smoke coming out. You can see the radiator fan turning, although it's not turning as fast as it really would be. You can see our little air intake right there. It looks like a little pod filter. And it is outputting power at 4096 RF per tick. So it produces it quite quickly. However, you notice that it didn't come on when this uh, HV capacitor was full. If I break the connection to it and there's nowhere for power to go, it stops. Which is a very nice feature. Because as you can see, when I hook it up to this full capacitor, it doesn't turn on. But when I hook up a non-full capacitor to the full one, the connection's obstructed because they're too close. Of course it is. Because why, why would things ever go the way I want them to go? Because there's somewhere for the power to go, it turns on. Which is very nice for conserving uh, fuel. As you can see, we've already consumed over 6,000 millibuckets of diesel, biodiesel fuel. It does. You're going to need quite a nice supply of it if you're going to want this to run continuously. Let's take a look, in fact, at the fuel consumption of the bio of the diesel generator. If we look at the handbook. We can see that. Oh, come on. There are three types of fuel that the diesel generator can accept. Biodiesel, which is produced in immersive engineering itself, burns for 6.25 seconds. I assume that this is per bucket. Diesel fuel burns for 8.75 seconds and gasoline for 18.75 seconds. Okay, and remember, that's that's producing 4,096 fuel uh, RF per tick, and these numbers in the parentheses are the ticks so if you multiply that by the power you can roughly estimate how much power you'll produce uh, with just a single unit which I assume is bucket of biodiesel fuel so over uh, 400,000 if that holds true so diesel fuel and gasoline are not produced by immersive engineering you'll need a pneumatic craft produces gasoline and diesel fuel can be acquired from uh, build craft if we type in diesel and I don't spell it wrong D I E I can never remember so biodiesel from immersive engineering and diesel fuel from pneumatic craft okay so these are both from pneumatic craft so you can produce diesel fuel in uh, from pneumatic craft apparently as well as uh, gasoline 
So there you go. That is the diesel generator. It is the uh, primary source of high voltage power in this mod pack. And uh, the most powerful generator currently in the mod pack. Now, you, there is a lightning rod. Um, but I prefer consistent power sources. And the diesel generator is consistent. With lightning rods, you always have to just uh, hope for the best that it gets struck. It's more of a gimmick, I think. However, there is currently a nuclear reactor in development. I'm not kidding. The developer has shared images of it in progress on his uh, Twitter, and they look amazing. I checked them out a while back. I don't know the status on that, but I, the last I knew, uh, a nuclear reactor was in development for immersive engineering. A pretty basic looking one uh, to stick with the sort of diesel punk... Um, mid-range tech feel of this mod so i i hope you've enjoyed our look at the diesel generator in the next episode we'll take a look at the medium and high voltage um power stuff in uh immersive engineering and in the episode after that we will go over uh power handling and uh mechanics um but i thought i wanted to get the diesel generator done first so that we can actually produce this uh power before we start talking about how to handle it so i hope you've enjoyed this Stay tuned for future episodes in our Immersive Engineering tutorial series. There's plenty more to go. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.